Have you ever heard of HPV? No. No. I've never heard of HPV. No, what is that? My acronyms aren't really coming to me right now. Human papillomavirus. Yeah, and what do you know about it? Uh, well, I'm a man, not much. It's not good. It's STD. Um, that's all I really know. I should probably know what HPV is. I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know what that means. It's okay. But, uh... I'm making a video to show you. Yes. So whether you've heard about HPV before or not, it's probably something you should know about. According to the CDC, 79 million Americans currently have HPV, making it the most popular STI in the game. But what exactly is it? HPV stands for human papillomavirus, which is really a group of over 150 related viruses. Most strains aren't a big deal. You could contract HPV, show no symptoms, and your body could clear it entirely on its own. But other strains are more serious and can lead to things like genital warts and certain types of cancer. That's where doctors come in. For female-bodied people, it's important to get regular pap tests so you can see if anything abnormal is going on with your cervical cells. If you do have an abnormal pap, you might be one of the many millions of people with HPV HPV. But don't freak out. Your healthcare provider will let you know what, if anything, you need to do from there. Male-bodied people can have HPV too, but there is currently no way to test those types of bodies for it. So unless you have genital warts or another type of symptom, you may never know if you have HPV. So that leaves us in sort of a confusing place. If you have oral, anal, or vaginal sex, you could contract HPV because it's spread through genital-to-genital -genital contact. Yep. I am talking about naked dry humping. What should you do to protect yourself? First and foremost, regardless of your gender, you should talk to your doctor about the HPV vaccines. They prevent some of the higher risk strains. Also, use protection. Condoms help, but since they don't usually cover your entire genitals, they can't protect you completely. Most importantly, if you have HPV, tell your partner. Look, I know it's not the sexiest subject, but it's essential that we talk about it to protect ourselves and our favorite people to get naked with. Thank <laughs> you.